balling VGA gel flux is used to remove the uh, the solder on the VGA. Obviously, the balls are uh, not usable once the component has been removed from the circuit board. So use gel flux and a blade tip. And a blade tip is such that you can wipe off a lot of solder balls in one action. So the blade tip is put on and the angle side put back onto the component and then the solder is cleaned off the BJ. There's a lot of solder on a BJ so you have to keep cutting the wick clean up your BGA like this and continue until the board is complete. A few extractions should be used while uh, cleaning up because the gel flux does make um, some uh, smoke from the flux residue. Once the component is completely flat and then clean it with alcohol white. This is prior to cleaning with the alcohol white. Reballing VGA. After cleaning up the residue, you can see that the solder pads are completely flat and clean. The reballing jig consists of a few parts. This is the body plate that holds the component. So the component is held upside down. This is the flux printing plate. Flux is printed on here as an option. Then this plate comes off and the reballing stencil goes on here and we will pour the reball or the new balls into the BGA at that point. I will now complete the operation. Here is the flux. Use a sticky flux gel, tacky flux as it's known. Print the component. So there is your component printed with flux gel. Now put the solder. When the solder balls have been placed into the stencil, remove the stencil and inspect the BGA. Here you can see the BGA balls are attached with the gel flux nicely to the BGA component. This solder flux will hold the balls better than using liquid flux because it's gel. Put the component on a flux dip plate upside down in a rework machine as this acts as a mini hot plate and then use a profile with airflow on the top and airflow on the bottom to reflow the component. Here is a profile example.